Well, it's possible to see white blood cells hunt down bacteria. Um, and I would like uh, to show this uh, to you. I also would like to show you how it's possible to stain the white blood cells to make their nuclei better visible. So I think it's, it's good to have a, have a closer look here. So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Today I'm going to put some blood under the microscope. As a matter of fact, uh, here this is a small drop of blood. And uh, specifically, I would like to focus today on the so-called the white blood cells. Um, when you put a drop of blood under the microscope, uh, the red blood cells are very abundant. Uh, most of the cells that you see here, those round disc-shaped uh, structures, those donut-shaped uh, cells here, these are red blood cells. They are important for carrying oxygen. But the white blood cells, they are important for our immune system because uh, they fight diseases and uh, they're also able to eat pathogens, pathogens for our disease-causing uh, microorganisms, for example, bacteria. Uh, not only that, um, the white blood cells, at least some of the white blood cells are also important for uh, removing and cleaning up dead body cells. So essentially they're making sure that uh, things uh, are recycled um, inside our body, dead cells and, uh, and bacteria. So uh, first of all, bacteria, they can enter our body through a small cut. Uh, for example, you scratch yourself somewhere and uh, it really doesn't make a lot of sense for the whole immune system to immediately start to become active. But rather, maybe we're able to handle this problem if uh, the phagocytes, these are these white blood cells that are able to eat those, if they become active first before we are actually starting a full immune response. So what they're doing is, is uh, they're moving around like uh, amoebas, uh, they're changing uh, their shape and they're able to detect the presence uh, of uh, foreign uh, material and of bacteria because they're able to sense the chemicals. Now the red blood cells, they are quite flexible and uh, they're able to move uh, with the bloodstream but they're not able to move on their own. But the phagocytes, the white blood cells, they um, are able to move uh, actively and they're able to clean up uh, yeah, the debris, it's basically cell parts and components that are dead um, and also bacteria um, and they're able to digest them and remove them. And what they're able to do is they're also able to leave the bloodstream and they're going able to squeeze between the, the cells um, of our blood vessels to actually go into the tissue. Yeah? And uh, here in time lapse, I really increased the speed here. Their motion really looks uh, quite uh, quite a bit like, like those Amoeba. Um, now, when I made the video here, uh, this uh, took uh, quite a bit of patience uh, because they do move very slowly, so they're easy to overlook. Um, but um, if you actually film them, let's say for about, uh, I don't know, half an hour or so, um, and uh, you speed up the video 10 to 20 times, then you are able to see it quite well uh, that they're able to move. I think <laughs> uh, it's quite amazing to think that there are so many tiny cells constantly working to keep us healthy. And I'm also quite happy to be able to say that uh, those white blood cells had no problem surviving at room temperature on my microscope slide yeah so um, even though it's much colder than um, than my body temperature they basically still moved around and were actively searching uh, for things uh, to eat now now phagocytes are as I already said, are part of our immunity. They're part of our cellular immunity. Essentially, when they are not able to handle infection, if uh, the bacteria reproduce too quickly, this is then when other white blood cells called lymphocytes uh, start to uh, step in and they start to produce antibodies. So what I would like to do now is I would like uh, to now stain them. Um, so I would like to make their nuclei visible. And um, you can do that by adding a small drop of methylene blue solution directly to the blood and mix it. And uh, when you not then uh, put the droplet of blood under the microscope, uh, then um, you can see that um, some of the cells uh, have actually a dark blue center, um, and this is the nucleus. Uh, and in many cases, the nucleus is not just round, but is lobed and quite irregular in structure, and it's very typical of white blood cells. And they're, it's called polymorph nucleated. Um, and uh, depending on the shape uh, of the nucleus, you are able to detect uh, the different uh, types, or at least you're able to identify, rather, the different uh, types of white blood cells that are present. Of course, um, if you add a staining solution, then um, you're also killing off uh, those cells because uh, the staining solution will react um, with the components of the cell. And this staining solution also contains a little bit of alcohol. Uh, this uh, causes all of the movement to stop, but uh, at least it allows you then to have a better observation um, of the different types of white blood cells that are present. And uh, you can also do a little bit of accounting uh, because uh, the white blood cells now become more easily identifiable because their nuclei is now stained, uh, stained uh, dark blue.
So now many people would like uh, to know the magnification. I would say uh, you need at least uh, around 400 times magnification. Pretty much uh, any microscope these days is able to do that, any compound microscope. Um, but if you uh, have a, a stable camera system, that is, I think, the most important thing. Um, or you can try to mount uh, a mobile phone in front of the eyepiece. Then I simply would recommend that you simply take a video uh, for about half an hour. And, and then in a video editing software that you speed it up uh, 10 to 20 times. And then, and then maybe you're able to detect uh, some of those uh, white blood cells moving around. Okay, I think uh, that's all I would like uh, to do today. I would like to, of course, invite you to subscribe to this channel if you like these type of videos. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye-bye.